everybody, I'm Bob. Hey there guys, I'm Kelly. If you are brand new to our channel, welcome and thanks for joining us today. And if you are returning to our channel. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, so obviously it's Food and Booze Friday because we got liquor. We have alcohol. Yes, we do. And we are not going to make one drink. We're making two drinks today. <laughs> so, as you guys know, we love the boathouse. Yes. That's in Disney Springs. And we thought that we would make two of our favorite cocktails from the boathouse. For you yeah, mine's a brand new favorite. Kelly's is like an old time favorite. Yeah, mine is an old time favorite standard. So, and it's really, really simple. So we thought that we would recreate this cocktail for you guys in case you want to make it at home. Yeah. So it is the blueberry lemonade from the boathouse. So. For this cocktail, we need lemon vodka, deep eddy lemon vodka, made in the great state of Texas. Oh, first we're gonna muddle some blueberries. Okay, I have some fresh blueberries here. So I'm just gonna take a few and put them in there, and Bob's gonna give them a little, I'll give them a little muddle. We have our muddler This here. is your drink, you do it. So just a gentle little kind of mush around a mush a mush a mush and then i'm gonna need one is this the one this is the same okay. we need one ounce of lemon vodka i love that sound and i'm gonna need one ounce of blueberry vodka the boathouse recipe calls for stoli blueberry vodka but we got smirnoff because that's all our record store had yeah we didn't have they didn't have stoli. they didn't have stoli blueberry but so, that's okay. Vodka yeah. vodka. And blueberry vodka is probably blueberry vodka. Ooh, I can smell the blueberries already. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, that smells good. So we're going to pour this into the shaker with some ice. And we're going to mix. I'm going to get out of the way. Yeah. 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 Did you get it in there? Got it frozen? I need help. It's frozen. <laughs> There we go. So we're gonna pour that. The uh, the glasses at the boathouse are taller than this, or the traditional hurricane glass. But this is what we have. So we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna pour that in here. Ooh, Ooh that's a pretty color. Nice and pink. And then I'm gonna add some ice. Um, I'm gonna use this. Probably should have put ice in there first, but no, it's all right. Hey, how much ice would you put in there? You wouldn't know. That's true. And then I'm also gonna put a few more blueberries, kind of in there, you know, just for floaters. Then I'm gonna top it off with lemonade. They, the boathouse makes their own fresh lemonade, but nobody got time for that here. So <laughs> we are making sim we're using simply lemonade. So I'm just gonna top that off. So ours here. Is a little less pink than the boathouses, but we're gonna stir it up and see how it tastes. Stirry, stirry. Probably could have muddled a few more. Probably blueberries. could have muddled a few more blueberries. Then it would have been really pretty. To make it a little bit more pink. Yeah, but it's close. It's close, yeah. It is close. I have seen them a little, you know, this color, and then I'm going to just garnish it with something pretty and give it a try. Yes. Don't just like it? Yes. <laughs> Alcohol so content good. and everything? Mm -hmm. It's not too strong. This is probably more of a summer drink. But for me, that's good. This is a any time of the year kind of drink. So yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, I would, I would definitely muddle more blueberries mm -hmm. though. But that, I don't know, that blueberry vodka is amazingly good. Yeah, I think I would muddle more blueberries too. Just like, to make probably a little, about a quarter cup of blueberries. Yeah, probably just to make give it a little bit more color. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it looks amazing. Yes, that is tastes really, amazing really good. too. Mm -hmm. So super duper <clears throat> simple. I'm gonna link the recipes to both of these cocktails in the description below. But mine was super duper easy, so I'm gonna enjoy mine. While well, I make mine, here's your lid for your vodka. Thanks. So. This was the first time we were there. I mean, when we were there in January, we'll link, uh, you know, that video because we've already got the Boathouse Review somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, and 
I thought I'd try something different and it was a strawberry gin fizz. I'm not a really big gin fan, but I'm starting to become a gin fan. Right. So, Ian, tell them about our gin. Oh, yes, our gin. This gin we bought, it is the liquor store and it is a homegrown gin. It is made right here in Monument, Colorado. Yeah, we did not make this gin. It is a company that has a gin distillery very close to us. So we thought we'd try out a local product. Mm. We don't know a whole lot about gin, so we are total gin newbies, but um, thought it would be good to support a local business, too. Oh, you're just going to go straight out of the bottle, huh? That's gin. Okay. <laughs> total. That's good gin, though. Is it's it? actually not bad. Okay. So it's called Lee Spirits. Yes. Gin, so. Dry gin, small batch American gin. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to get started with this, and I have to muddle, too, but I'm going to muddle it right in my glass. Okay. So what I need is strawberries, and I'm gonna do a good. I'm gonna do a good about. That's about a whole strawberry, maybe a strawberry and a half, okay. like that, right there. See. And then it calls for mint, fresh mint. mint leaves. Put some mint leaves in there. And just to make the muddling a little easier, I got like a half ounce of simple syrup. Yeah, the recipe doesn't call for simple syrup, but you're going to put some in there. I'm put it in there anyway, because it can always be sweet. Creative license. Right, and I'm going to use an ounce of lime juice. It fresh. does call for fresh lime juice. Right, so that is fresh squeezed lime juice, yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Just squeezed it. Just squeezed her? <laughs> like that. <laughs> With my hand. I feel sorry for that lime. I know. So, take our little muddle thingy jobber. The muddler. It's like, sounds like a Batman arch villain. The muddler? Ha! That could be your like villain name. The That's muddler. my the muddler. <laughs> That's all muddled. Mmm, that Kinda smells amazing. Close up. So that's what it looks like. Kind of looks muddled. like a mess. Like a mess. It's like a hot <laughs> mess. But I guarantee it, it is good. It's not gonna taste like a mess. It's not gonna taste like a mess. Okay. Um, so we're gonna take two ounces of dry gin from Colorado. From Colorado. And then we're gonna put ice in it. Okay. And I'm just using my grubby old hands. You don't have a cool ice scooper. No. Fill it up with ice. Top it off with club soda. Here we have just regular old club soda. Regular old club soda. Makes it the fizz, right? That gives it the fizz. That looks pretty. It's looking a lot prettier. It's a okay. strawberry gin fizz. It's kind of gradient before you stir it. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. Look at those leaves and the strawberries. Mm. That's a very pretty drink. It also looks kind of summery. It does. Doesn't it? It does. And of course, Kelly made me a lovely garnish. Lovely garnish. A little daily jobber like here. See? Just uh, strawberry, yeah. mint leaves, and lime. And we're gonna put it right in there. Take my echo friendly straw. Echo? Eco friendly straw. <laughs> echo is straw, straw, straw. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's time for a try. Oops, I got a strawberry stuck in. <laughs> oh, wow. What do you think? It's awesome. Does it taste like the one at the boathouse? Yeah, it does. Can I try? Sure. Tastes just like the one at the boathouse. Mm, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, because I, I like mine better, but yours is good. I like mine better because it's not sweet. I was just gonna say that mine, I, is, mine is sweet if, where yours is not. If you haven't noticed by now, if you've watched anything we've ever done, she's sweet. I'm savory. I love savory. I don't like sweet that much. That is true. So I like the drinks that have a little more tang to them, and this one has it because it's got that mint and yeah. that lime juice. Yeah, in it. I definitely should have muddled more on mine because yours has the bitter color. But I can taste the mint, the strawberry, just a hint of gin. It's really not overpowering. No, at all. it's not. This one would be dangerous. Yeah, it would be dangerous. And same with this one, because I could have several. Yeah, of I these. could drink like four of these and wouldn't even blink an eye. Yeah, and then all of a sudden. And then my legs wouldn't work. <laughs> It'd be and one all of a sudden, your clothes yeah, would fall off. Yeah, all of a sudden. No, we're not using tequila today. <laughs> That does happen with tequila. Tequila is like either you want your 10 foot tall or bulletproof or your clothes fall off. That's right. 
If you haven't tried these, either of these drinks, give them a shot. Yeah, give them a shot if you're at the boathouse or try them at home. Yeah, try them at home. You know, like this one is super easy, three ingredients with some blueberries. Yeah, this is pretty much three ingredients too. It's like yeah. lime, soda, and gin. And well, it's got strawberry and mint yeah, too. Easy peasy. But it's still a piece of cake. And I love the way it looks. Yeah, yours is really, really pretty. I will link the recipes to both drinks down in the description below. And let us know if you give these guys a try. Because I'm sure we'll be making more of these guys. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you are doing well. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video and ring that bell. Ring the bell so ring that you know. Bell. Yeah, ring the bell so that you know when we post. Mm -hmm. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.